package. But here's the one thing I want to know. I want to know how can we possibly let the government get away with calling this a stimulus package? I want to break down the numbers for you and kind of help you with the, well, I mean, we had the numbers from the nonpartisan radical hate mongers. What a bunch of racists over the Congressional Budget Office. They say, according to the CBO, only $26 billion, just over 3%, will be spent in this emergency, quick, get the money to the people, stimulus package this year. 3%. Another $110 billion, or 13%, will be spent sometime next year. Which means that by the time President Obama's term is halfway through, coincidentally enough, also, oh my gosh, about the time we have the midterm elections. 16% of the money will have been spent. I thought President Obama said this is supposed to be a quick jolt to the economy. The president has also billed the stimulus as an investment in America's infrastructure. And you know what? To be real honest with you, if that were true, I would be all for it. I-95 and the East Coast, if you've ever driven it, help. It's a nightmare. Not exactly the Autobahn. Yet, only 3%, just over $30 billion, of this entire package is dedicated to the road and highway spending of the entire country. When you, uh, when you look at it, then you think, okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, how about the promise about creating all those great green jobs and all that clean energy? Again, if you want to get serious about wind and solar and nuclear power, and you want to get that off the ground... I am in as an American. We've got to do something. But this isn't serious. 2% of the money is earmarked for clean energy. And only one-seventh of that is going to be spent over the next two years. The CBO tells us that billions of dollars are going to go buy brand new computers and replace government cars with new alternative fuel vehicles. Oh, I hope they get that new XM Sirius in it, too. In all, the money is going to 150 different federal programs, from Amtrak, who would have seen that coming with Joe Biden as your VP, to the TSA. And it's not clear that a single new job will ever be created. America, I am so tired of actually caring about stuff every single day and the people in Washington almost mocking me for it. Can we please call a spade a spade? This package isn't meant to stimulate the economy. It is meant to reshape it. If President Obama, Nancy Pelosi, and the rest of the progressives really believe that socialism is the best way out of this mess and we should be a socialist country because that's the way to move forward in the world, then please, just make the case. Let's have an honest debate about it. Let's actually talk about the truth and allow the American people to decide, not be rushed into socialism and calling it one thing when it's not. But, you know, what they're doing now, using fear to promote long-term changes to the country, is exactly the kind of thing that led us into the biggest deficit of all, the deficit of trust that we now have in our leaders.